Hey everyone, happy Thursday. It's me and the pigeon back for another Read with Miss Olson. Today we are going to be reading a wonderful book called You Can Do It, Curious George. In this story, Curious George is trying to figure out what he is best at. Our story today is written by Margaret and H.A. Ray. They're our author and our illustrators. While we are reading, we are going to be looking for a special word to watch, quickly. What do you guys think quickly means? Whisper in my ear. I heard you say that quickly can mean speedy or fast. That's exactly right. So if you hear our word quickly, make sure to put our thumbs up. While we are reading, we are also going to be doing some predicting. Remember, predicting means making guesses about what is going to happen next in our story. I bets. So I'll be listening for your I bets today. Okay, let's get started. You can do it, Curious George. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. George loved going to the museum with his friend. While they were visiting the museum, they saw a sign. The sign said that the museum had won a prize. People voted this museum as their favorite. They said this museum was the best. When George saw the sign, he started to think, what could he do best? He decided to find out. You can do it, George, said the man with the yellow hat. George went back home. He was a good at drawing dinosaurs. Maybe he could draw the best dinosaur picture ever. George decided that he liked to draw, but he wanted to try to do something different. He climbed out the window and looked for ideas. Soon George came to a restaurant. That gave him a great idea. I bet that George is gonna go in the restaurant and try to become the best cook ever. Let's see if I'm right. George loved spaghetti. He decided he would make the best spaghetti ever. You can do it, George. Look at all that spaghetti, George thought. It tasted great. He tasted it more and more of it and made a big mess. I want you to make a prediction now. What do you think is going to happen next? Whisper in my ear, I bet. I heard you guys saying that George is gonna get in trouble because in lots of Curious George books, he makes a mess and then he gets in trouble. Let's see if you guys are right. Then the chef came in. Get out, he shouted. Out of my kitchen! George was going to have to find something else he did best. George needed another idea. He got on a bus to think. The bus took him to the ski slope. That gave George an idea. He grabbed the biggest sled he could find. Maybe he could sled down the hill faster than anyone ever had before. You can do it, George. At first, sledding was fun. Then, George started going too fast. Look out, George! George was going to have to find something else he did best.
George needed another idea. Then he remembered something he did better than anyone. He rushed back home. When he got there, he took out his kite. He was going to be the best kite flyer ever. George got his kite to go higher and higher. You can do it, George. Then the kite lifted George right off the ground. Look out below. Let's make a prediction here. What do you guys think is going to happen next? I bet. I heard you guys say that George might crash into something because he's flying so high. Let's see if we're right. George landed in a tree in the forest. His kite flew away without him. George was going to have to find something else he did best. Just then, George spotted smoke. Oh no, it was a forest fire. Let's make one last prediction today. What do you think is going to happen next in our story? I bet. I heard you say that George is gonna to try to help all the animals that are in the smoke by the fire. Let's see if we're right. George wanted to warn everyone about the fire. He raced to town and found the fire station. The firefighters quickly put up out the fire. Phew, did you hear our word to watch quickly? I did. By now the sun was setting. It was too late for George to figure out what he did best. Poor George. Now he doesn't have time to find out what he's best at. George's friend met him back at the museum. The director had heard that George warned everyone about the forest fire. She thought that was the best thing anyone had done in a long time. George did it. Hooray! He found out what he can do best. He is the best helper. George got a very special prize that day. It was so exciting. At the end of the story, George found out that he was the best helper ever. Today, I want you to think about what you're best at. Everyone is good at something. Think about what you're best at. Draw me a picture and write me words about what you're best at. I'm best at. I can't wait to see your answers. So good to read with you today. Have a wonderful thir Thursday. Goodbye.